Good day friends and subscribers. My name is Dr. Mayur Pai and I am an IVF specialist working in Goa in India. In today's video, I'll be covering everything to do with IVF triggers. A trigger is one of the most important parts of an IVF cycle. A poorly chosen trigger may cost you the entire benefit of the IVF cycle. So let us know everything in detail. In today's video, I'll be covering all the triggers. The standard trigger that is HCG injection agonist trigger or lupride acetate trigger and my personal favorite that is the dual trigger which is HCG plus lupride acetate combination. In today's video I will be covering the individual triggers in great detail. I will be unboxing them and showing you what is there inside and how the triggers are to be administered. Also I will be telling the advantages and disadvantages of all the specific triggers that we have just now shown you on your screen. As usual, our today's video also has timestamps. That means you can go directly to the topic that interests you the most. You will find the link in the description which helps you go to the exact topic of your choice. Before going into the details of the different IVF triggers, let us first find out what a trigger is. A trigger is nothing but a single hormone or a group of hormones that causes the final maturation of the oocytes. It can be a natural trigger or a trigger for an IUI or an IVF cycle. The mechanisms for all these triggers is the same. In a natural cycle, the lady produces a single ovarian follicle. As the follicle keeps developing, it releases estrogen hormone. This estrogen hormone signals the pituitary and keeps telling the pituitary about the growth and the progress of the growth of the single ovarian follicle. When the pituitary gets a signal that the follicle is fully developed, then a trigger is initiated. In a natural trigger in the human body, the lady experiences an LH surge. This LH surge is often accompanied by a small but sharp FSH surge as well. So just to sum it up, a natural trigger consists of a significant LH surge which is accompanied by a slightly smaller FSH surge. You have to remember this fact till the end of this video as it is the basic of this entire video. Now let me start with our first medicine that is HCG. On the screen you have a vial of HCG 10,000 international units as you can see over here. This is the standard time tested trigger in IVF internationally. So let us see how HCG works. Chemically the HCG hormone closely resembles the LH hormone in structure. That means when HCG hormone is injected into the woman, it works like the LH hormone. Having said this, there are few differences between the HCG hormone and the LH hormone. HCG has a very long half-life. That means HCG once given stays in the woman's body for a period of 7 to 10 days. Whereas LH the hormone has a very short half-life. That means it is excreted from the human body very quickly. This long half-life of HCG has certain advantages as well as certain disadvantages. So let's first discuss the advantages of this long half-life of HCG. The long half-life of HCG makes sure that HCG is an excellent trigger as far as maturing the different follicles is concerned. It is a well-known fact internationally that 10,000 international units of HCG hormone is one of the best triggers in IVF. It causes a very good maturation of many oocytes in the follicles that are grown during IVF. Also another advantage of giving HCG is that the prolonged half-life will give an excellent luteal phase support. That means that in the luteal phase, HCG causes a good release of natural progesterone hormone from the lady's ovaries. So what are the disadvantages of HCG hormone? Let us discuss. The prolonged half-life of HCG also has a dark side. This is particularly so in ladies who are affected with polycystic ovaries. When a lady with polycystic ovaries is stimulated during an IVF or an IUI cycle, they are very much prone for ovarian hyperstimulation. What results is a very large number of follicles. She may even develop 20 to 30 ovarian follicles, many of them mature and immature in size. When HCG is used as a trigger in these ladies, it causes the ladies to have a very high risk of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. This OHSS is one of the dreaded complications of IVF therapy and it most affects those ladies who have polycystic ovaries. So in a case of polycystic ovaries, 
योर आई वी एफ डॉक्टर मे रिड्यूस द डोज ऑफ एच सी जी हॉर्मोन और मे टोटली रिप्लेस इट विद एन अगोनिस ट्रिगर आई एल बी कवरिंग अगोनिस ट्रिगर एंड अदर टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रिगर्स एस्पेशली दोज विच आर यूज इन पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवरीज लेटर ऑन इन दिस वीडियो सो कीप व्यूविंग द वीडियो टिल द एंड नाउ आई एल बी अनबॉक्सिंग द एच सी जी वाइल दिस इज अ वाइल ऑफ एच सी जी टेन थाउजेंड इंटरनेशनल यूनिट्स यू कैन सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन दैट इट्स अ लिक्विड स्टेबल प्रोडक्ट दैट वी हैव दिस इज द प्रोडक्ट दैट आई कॉमनली यूज इन माई आई वी एफ प्रैक्टिस विच इज अ लिक्विड बेस्ड एच सी जी ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एन एक्वियस एच सी जी सो हाउ इज एच सी जी एडमिनिस्टर्ड ऑल दैट वी नीड टू डू इज यूज एन इंसुलिन सिरिंज दैट इज दिस वन यू कैन सी दैट द नीडल इज क्वाइट स्मॉल एंड इट डजेंट हर्ट द लेडी वेन वी गिव दिस वी टेक द इंसुलिन सिरिंज वी एस्पिरेट द एंटायर कंटेंट दैट इज वन एम एल इन टू द इंसुलिन सिरिंज एंड वी गिव द लेडी ऑन हर आर्म इट इज गिवन इन अ सब क्यूटेनियस फैशन हाव एवर एच सी जी कैन ऑल्सो बी एडमिनिस्टर्ड आई एम और इंट्रा मस्क्यूलरली यूजिंग अ स्टैंडर्ड टू एम एल सिरिंज नाउ आई एल बी शोइंग यू अ वायल ऑफ लाइफिलाइज एच सी जी दिस इज अ वायल ऑफ लाइफिलाइज एच सी जी और पाउडर एच सी जी लेट मी अनबॉक्स दिस टू शो यू वॉट इट कंटेन्स एंड हाउ इट इज टू बी एडमिनिस्टर्ड एज यू कैन सी इन द बॉक्स दिस इज हाउ इट लुक्स so you have in the box an ampule which is containing a liquid that is the standard diluent and the hcg is available in a powder form in this vial that you can see over here all that you need to do is you have to aspirate the liquid in the insulin syringe put it inside the powder to reconstitute it followed by that you have to aspirate it out and give the woman subcutaneously on her arm This can also be given intramuscularly with a standard 2 ml syringe. The second type of injection for trigger that we are going to cover is called lupride acetate. Lupride acetate is a type of agonist trigger. This is a very useful trigger especially used in a case of polycystic ovary patient. So let me tell you how lupride acetate works. When a lady is given lupride acetate injection, it forces the lady's own pituitary gland to secrete a natural trigger so this natural trigger consists of the typical lh surge and also the small fsh surge this sort of a natural trigger is greatly used in a case of polycystic ovary patient when you want to give a more physiological or a more natural trigger which has a very short half life you must remember that when treating a polycystic ovary patient with hcg the prolonged half life increases her risk of ohss whereas when giving a lupride acetate trigger this decreased half life of the natural trigger protects the lady from ohss so to sum it up lupride acetate and other agonist triggers are greatly used to decrease the risk of ohss in a polycystic ovary patient but lupride acetate trigger has a small drawback the drawback is that it is a much lighter trigger as compared to hcg that means after giving an agonist trigger in an ivf cycle we find that many of the follicles are less mature that means they cannot be fertilized and they do not yield very good quality embryos so though lupride acetate increases the safety of an ivf cycle it does cause the ivf cycle to be slightly suboptimal so let me unbox this vial of lupride acetate on your screen you can see that this is a vial of lupride acetate that is 4 mg in 4 ml that means every milliliter or every ml of this liquid contains 1 mg of lupride acetate that means you can titrate the dose and give the exact dose that your ivf cycle requires when you open this vial you can see that there is a single vial which is already ready for injection that means it is already reconstituted and liquid stable you just have to aspirate the liquid in your insulin syringe uh, based on the dose as prescribed by your ivf practitioner and give the lady subcutaneously lupride trigger cannot be given intramuscularly and it's best given subcutaneously so now we reach to our final type of trigger that is called the dual trigger as the name suggests in a dual trigger we give both these injections that is we give hcg as well as we give lupride acetate so why is a dual trigger given dual trigger combines the benefits of hcg and also combines the benefits of agonist 
the benefit of hcg which we require the most is its prolonged half life and its ability to mature follicles in a very very good way and the benefit of the agonist trigger that we like to incorporate in our trigger is the natural lh plus natural fsh surge which is absent while giving only your hcg injection so in a dual trigger you have the fsh benefits of the agonist trigger and the prolonged half life and the maturation ability of hcg in my own clinical practice i have been using a dual trigger for several years and i have found amazing benefits from it we get a good yield of mature m2 oocytes and they are enough in numbers to take almost every case up to a blastocyst level you remember that a blastocyst is a type of highly differentiated embryo which has almost 5 to 10% higher implantation rate i hope you enjoyed today's video about hcg agonist trigger as well as a dual trigger i hope you have learned something new today what is the trigger that you like the most let me know about it in the comment section below in case you have not subscribed to my channel as yet do subscribe us by hitting the red button over there and while you are at it do remember to press the bell icon to receive the latest video notifications in case you have any specific question for me do let me know in the comment section below so until next time namaste